What's up guys? Welcome to Achilles Post and this time round it is transfer news coming on your way and Ellen Haaland is set to join Manchester City. A power tourist who will get his signature done. We will also be talking about Arsenal interest in Raheem Sterling and Liverpool trying to sign an 18 year old boss boy in Aberdeen. If you are new, subscribe and be part of this amazing community. Arsenal are interested in Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling last season or beginning of this season, we hear every complaint that he wanted to leave City. He wants to leave City. Even in the uh, general transfer window, a lot of uh, information was City. he's leaving City uh, because of playing time. But it looks like to the end of the season, Raheem Sterling has been getting playing time and he's be part, he has been part of the integral process of Pep Guardiola this season. And now, do you think City will allow Raheem Sterling to go or do you, will Raheem Sterling will choose Arsenal as a club to go next? Because there's only one year left with his contract. His contract is expiring 2023 20, and his sales value will actually not match and also considering the age as well. Ateta have worked with Raheem Sterling before. He has worked with him before when he was an assistant coach for Pep Guardiola. And let's see how he will be able to play a role in getting Raheem Sterling. On the other hand, hey, City are buzzing and City are very, very, very buzzing because they are getting a striker and they have seen a striker in Ellen Haaland. Haaland has accepted a uh, personal terms or he has accepted to sign for Manchester City. But they are waiting for the Premier League to finish they will know who is going to win the title or not. But at this moment, after that, they will be announcing Ellen Haaland. So Ellen Haaland will be announcing after the confirmation of who is going, who will be picking the Premier League title. Whether City takes the Premier League or not, hey, he is going to be a City fan. But it, that, that, it's not confirmed yet. This is just... Uh, he has agreed to sign so let's see how this maybe another team could just come on and snatch him away from Manchester City but Manchester City has the money and they have the money to buy him and they will be activating his release clause and last year we knew we heard like his release clause this year will be around 75 million but is it worth it or City are getting him at moderate? Erling Haaland is just a fantastic player and his energy, his strength, his resilience could make him one of the best players in Premier League. You know what I'm talking about because Erling Haaland can withstand pressure. He can bully our defenders. He's quick and he knows how to position himself for ball. And this is the kind of typical striker City has been lacking since the beginning of the season. And for him to be to arrive in City and also in Premier League, probably expect something better from Erling Haaland. And mark my words, he will be just doing fine for City. What becomes of Hurricane in this matter? If City are able... Now, City have lost interest in Hurricane because they needed him most last season and they couldn't go for uh, a striker, thinking that Hurricane would be joining them. But all of a sudden, Tottenham refused and Hurricane also complied with Tottenham at this moment. And hey, I don't think Hurricane will be moving away from Tottenham Chelsea and Manchester United are fighting or are just going for the signature of Paul. Paul Torres is a Villarreal player and he is just amazing this season. And we all know what Villarreal have done this season with Unai Emery. And hey, these two clubs, are just, they just want to get his signature. And who will get it better? Is it Manchester United or it is Chelsea? Let's see who... The cafe because his release clause is about 55 million euro. And let's see how this could be able to work perfectly for for Paul Torres because he is just brilliant and he is just absolutely brilliant player. And hey, information showing that Dortmund have already completed the signing of Karim Adiemi from RB Salberg. Transfer amount is 
38 million euros. Let's see how this young guy will be able to stir the affairs of uh, Dortmund. But this season it hasn't been well and it hasn't been well for Dortmund. And also Real Madrid have just tried to send a contract extension for uh, Dani Sabel Sabelos. Dani Sabelos is a player, a unique player, and he has been there in Real Madrid since his young age. They loaned him to Arsenal for a couple of seasons. We nearly thought Arsenal could just snitch, snatch him from uh, Real Madrid. But hey, Real Madrid stand on their ground. So the price or the price tag or the terms between Arsenal and Real Madrid could not be reached last season or last summer transfer. So let's see how this is going to be. But now Real Madrid are extending his contract. But someone like Sabayos, will he agree to sign a deal with Real Madrid or he will just wait to go for Arsenal because he played under Arteta and Arteta was able to use him subsequently and love him as well. Let's see the future of um Sabelos will be able to determine here. Paul Pogba. <laughs> Paul Pogba have rejected the contract offer from Manchester City. And go watch my previous video. I told you that Paul Pogba is someone that, hey, he will be thinking about playing time and also how Pep Guardiola with his relationship with his players will be very, very difficult for Paul Pogba. But maybe the main reason why he's rejecting the contract is because of the United Derby or United Rivals. These teams, I've never just seen this team agree to each other. And if Paul Pogba is leaving Manchester United and going to uh, Manchester City, it means that he will lose his fans as well. And probably he wouldn't want to do that or he wouldn't want to commit for sure. And let's see how things are going to be. Barcelona are still interested in Bernardo Silva and a couple of others but they want they will only allow Dijon to go if they get someone like Bernardo Silva we all know Bernardo Silva was out of love in Manchester City last season like in the ending of last season and probably he could have go during the transfer window but he stayed and hey in the process he became the the instrumental part of Pep Guardiola's success this this year are they going to allow him to go because Barcelona are really interested and they are interested in the service of this 27 years old. Let's see how this is going to be and we'll keep on updating you on that matter as well. And hey, Liverpool, you will never walk alone. Liverpool, you will never walk alone. To this time round, Liverpool are going to sign an 18-year-old boy in Aberdeen. Yes, they are going to battle it with Leeds United and they think they could rob off Leeds United to get this 18-year-old boy from Aberdeen, Calvin Ramsey. Calvin Ramsey is just 18 years old and he's doing an amazing job right now and he's worth of 4 million euros. Let's see how this situation or this uh, signing will go on for sure because it is absolutely brilliant and massive. And hey, one thing that I want to actually draw your attention as well is Cristiano Ronaldo. News being that he is going to meet Alex Ferguson to discuss his future. What has this got to do with Alex Ferguson? Because he still have one year left in his contract. Right now, Alex Ferguson is just a board member. He is not a manager or who stays the effects of contracts in Manchester United. But I don't know the protocol of Manchester United. If you do, let me know in the comment section. And hey, thank you for being part of this show. Thank you for watching. And hey, if you are new, subscribe and be part of this amazing community. And wait, wait, next video coming on your way is going to be, this is not true. And guys, see you and see you and hit the subscription button, like the video, turn on your notification bell and see you in the next video.